hello my fellow car modelers how you doing today well I was sitting down on a nice Sunday afternoon doing a little bit of model building tinkering around with my uh, 69 Camaro here drag car and uh, something because I started this project a very long time ago and I did do a little video on this car at one time I tell you you kind of forget some things that you do when you started a model way way back when and I discovered uh, this cool little thing that I did with the grill. Look at that, you see how it's totally see-through? And if you guys are familiar with this kit, which is the Revell 69 Camaro, the grill was solid, very thick. It was a solid piece. But I have always liked to grind them out, and you can see it's a lot thinner, and then make them to where you can see through them. And this is actually very easy to do. And let me just take the body here, and I'll plop this into place and just you can kind of see it gives a pretty good look if painted up correctly and everything has a good look to it so with that being said let me show you how it's done well first like this is a completed one and painted and then here's a solid one when you get them out of the kit and here I found one that I was working on half of it's done so you can see how I ground it out. It's really pretty self-explanatory. Now on a real 69 Camaro this part also is see-through but usually it's blocked out by the inner fender well and stuff like that. So this is the important part and the reason why I keep this you want that to be that thick is because how it sets in the body you know if it's all thin it will set too far back so that will keep the the grill in there at its proper depth. I do not grind this portion out. I just take out the middle. And you can see it really shows you the difference. This is just something I wanted to show you and how I do it. I use my Dremel tool with a barrel sander and I have a speed control. I used to have a foot control. That was always nice because you control your speed with your foot. When you turn these things on they want to go fast. But you can get this thing down really low really calm you just kind of get in there and slowly work it at whatever pace you want to go the trick is you just got to take your time so let's see if we can get a portion of this gr ground out for you I go at a, at, at a pretty pretty reasonable speed And you know, I've done this a lot, so I kind of do it at a little bit faster pace than most. I would I would suggest you even go slower than this and just take your time. But like I said, I've done this a lot, so I've got it down. But you see how I'm starting to break through already. I usually don't like to go all the way through. I usually like to get it to where you can kind of if you put if you hold it up to light. Let me try reflecting light. Can you see that? Yeah, that, that shows you. You can see how it's really thin right there. And you want to get it to where you can kind of see through it when you hold it up to light. It's actually not enough yet. Just slowly, just slowly grind at it. And you can really start seeing it coming through. Let's get something bright and white behind there. You can really see it showing through. See that? You see how you can see the grills? At that point in time, I wouldn't go much farther. And it's really thin. And at that point in time, you can just kind of take it out with your exacto knife. You see, it poked right through there. And you can clean it out. Now, you got to be real careful not to blast your existing tangs or whatever you want to call the grills there. So you got to be real careful with it. But the trick is, is just take your time, work it, clean it out. It's really worth it. 
especially if you want to do radiator detail or just have that look behind there that you can see through it. Photo Etch takes care of you in that and some grills, but a grill like that, Photo Etch wouldn't work on, on a 69 grill because it was such a, a thick plastic piece. This is the best way to go. When you get all done, you can have a really good looking thing right there. You can see your core support if you got a painted body color. It's it's just a really good look for the model and see how it just pops right in there. So just a quick how-to. There's a lot of cars like that, not just the 69 Camaro that you can do that for. Having the right tools and just a little bit of patience. There you go. That's all I have for you today. And uh, again, you want to take another look at this model. I'm trying to work on it. I'd like to have it done for the Acme show in November over in Atlanta. I don't know if I can get that done, but this is a model I started some 11 or 12 years ago, and I really would like to get it done. It's pretty cool. I did a lot of trick stuff with the rear suspension, made a roll cage for it, and those are all videos that'll come out. I'm going to show you guys how to do a roll cage sometime soon. I've shown some tips on that. We're going to do that, but uh, other than that, I really wanted to show you these grills, so uh, just take a quick difference in appearance right there. So I want to thank you all for watching, and you know what we say here, keep gluing those fingers together, and keep cutting that styrene like we just did, and keep building model cars. And why is it? That's the big question. Why? Why build model cars? Well, it's an easy answer, because they're freaking fun. Here's the producers.